What's going on everybody? Welcome to the Torian Rain Reloaded channel. If you are new, make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button and hit that bell so you can be notified every time I upload a new video and go live. Also, be sure to share this content as well as my other content on your various social media platforms. So who are we talking about today? We are talking about Christian Cooper. Now, this is a person that we have not addressed in, well, shoot, it's probably been over two years now, I believe. You don't remember who he is? He was the guy in Central Park who was bird watching when this Karen came along with her dog and started to accuse him of things when he was basically trying to correct her about how she should be handling her dog inside of the park. He had an opportunity to really nail this chick to the wall. This, this, like, and it's crazy because the last ditch effort that Andrew Cuomo had this something to do when it came to black people, it got the ball got dropped heavily, be, mainly because of him. Had you know people really rallying behind him and everything like that, and he decided that he didn't want to press any charges against this woman. Like literally, this was this whole thing was set up for her to take a huge L, but he decided not to. And like I said, after that, we uh, didn't hear much about him again. But now he has popped up in the news again. Uh, someone in my comment section for one of my live streams had asked me, Torian, did you hear about uh, Christian Cooper and his new gig over at Nat Geo? And I was like, no, I didn't hear about it. And then I, you know, got sent the article. I got tagged in it. And. Here we are right now. So, yes, Christian Cooper, he got awarded all right for not uh, pressing charges against that Karen. And now he's got a new job uh, working with National Geographic. And as you know, Nat Geo is an extension of the Disney conglomerate. Yes, Disney owns National Geographic. So he's be, he <laughs> he about to be working with the mouse. But yeah, he got a new gig. He got a, a show on that geo. No wonder he didn't sue her. I don't know. Maybe if they reached out to him at the time and said, look, we got something for you. But here's the kicker. You cannot press charges against that Karen. Shoot. Not worth my dignity. They said they all could have your show. I'm pressing charges against her. And it makes it so bad because he literally and I said he could have nailed her to the wall. And I brought up Andrew Cuomo is because they were literally about to pass a bill in New York that could have prevented stuff like this happening in the future. This actually could have been a huge protection bill in the state of New York for black people against people like her. But he dropped the ball. And man, when I tell you, black people had nothing but contempt for him, and rightfully so, after that. And it left it wide open for her to go after her job that fired her her job fired her he literally had everything working for for him and he literally shut down when he said he wasn't gonna press charges against her and that was it then i think he came back later if i'm not mistaken and tried to do something but it was too late like i don't know if it was the pressure that got you to you or what but it wouldn't have been that much pressure came my way she would have got sued to the high heavens but i'm gonna go ahead and read this article from ktla Posted on May 20th, 2022. Christian Cooper, the black man who was bird watching in Central Park the day he was falsely accused by a PC woman of threatening her, is getting his own bird watching TV show on National Geographic. And I hope nobody watches it. Cooper, an avid bird watcher, will host the upcoming show Extraordinary Birder, where he will showcase the wild, wonderful, and unpredictable world of birds. I'm bored already. Whether braving stormy seas in Alaska for puffins, tracking into rainforests in Puerto Rico for parrots, or scaling a bridge in Manhattan for a peregrine, peregrine falcon, he does whatever it takes to learn about these extraordinary feathered creatures and show us the remarkable world in the sky above, National Geographic said in a news release. A premiere date for Extraordinary Birder wasn't announced. The show is being made by the production company Lucky 8. Christian Cooper was thrust into the national spotlight after being involved in an altercation with Amy Cooper, no relation, in Central Park in 2020. Christian Cooper recorded Amy Cooper calling 911 during their argument over leashing her dog in an area of the park where it was required. Amy Cooper falsely told the police an African-American man was threatening her. The video took he took of the incident was posted on social media and went viral. 
Amy Cooper ended up being fired by her employer and later apologized for her actions. What they should have added in there is that he didn't press any charges against her, like tell the whole story. Now, as you can see by this man's shirt, you see that he literally has the rainbow flag on there. It's actually a combination of the American flag. If you can see right there under his strap, it's the rain, it's the American flag with the stars. And then going out is the rainbow part representing the stripes. Now, we didn't know what this that this guy was in the academy when it happened because we really didn't care. You know, all we cared about was the incident at hand and what occurred at this point. And the thing is, looking at him, if you if he if he wasn't wearing that shirt, you would never know he was in the academy because he doesn't uh present himself as being flamboyant. So you wouldn't know until he said that he was. And then further down for a little bit later, we found out that he was in a relationship with a PC man. I was like, uh, oh, there it is. <laughs> there it was right there so we couldn't help but think that he did not sit, do anything against this pc woman because his partner is a pc man and that makes you wonder what kind of conversation he was having with his pc partner when it came to this pc woman did his partner get on code and say don't go after her it, it makes you wonder that it really does you know, one thing we never really talk about is the off coldness a lot of people in the academy are when it comes to black people. This guy could have very well put his relationship before his blackness. Like I said, this is all speculation because I don't know what they're talking about. I really don't care. I'm just kind of throwing it out there. But we just over here thought it was interesting to find out that his the per, his partner is a PC man. You know, it was one thing finding out he was in the academy. It's like, okay, whatever. Even though some of them, as a, well, as a matter of fact, too many of them are off code. But then finding out who his partner was, it's like, okay, now it's start the, the dots are connecting. Kind of like how Silly Porter is. That's a whole nother monster right there. But yeah, he got, he's gotten awarded or rewarded, I should say, with. This Nat Geo show that, like I said, just looking, listening or looking at the synopsis, it wouldn't appeal to me. I can't even remember the last time I watched anything on National Geographic anyway. So it is what it is. It, it doesn't appeal. It wouldn't appeal to me at all. Really. And I know many of my subscribers and people who are watching, it wouldn't appeal to you either. So it is what it is. It's just a shame that he couldn't have killed two birds with one stone you know that's probably not the best choice of words considering that this is about birds he could have gone after her and possibly could have gotten this show that way he could have been rewarded two ways but the fact of the matter is this guy literally dropped the ball and i think i did a video talking about it and i think it was titled that how christian cooper dropped the ball where he could have literally had this woman back against the ropes and could have had a possibly a bill put down on the books in the state of New York that could have given black people specifically protection against people like her. But he decided no. Because he felt, and I think he said this, that she suffered enough. Excuse me? This woman called the cops on you, lying on you, saying that you threatened to attack her. When all you were trying to do was correct her, you recorded it, put it out there for the world to see, got everyone on your side. And I do mean everyone, not just black people, on your side. You had a governor, former governor, literally getting ready to sign and draft up a bill that could have gave black people protections against people like her. Her job fired her. The course was ready to prosecute her. Probably before she even had a day in court. And you said... I don't want to press charges because I feel she has suffered enough. I now remember him saying that his own sister came out and was basically saying, well, if you were going to do all of that, why did you even record it? We would to a sister. We were thinking the same thing. Why even record it? Or why put it out there? Now it made it sound like you were doing it for attention. 
and now you have this show. Well, there you go. He got something that benefited him and him alone. And that's probably what the whole th- the whole thing was for him the entire time was how can I benefit off of this and only me? And that's my take on it. 